and welcome back to part two of me laddering up with Midrange Hunter. Uh, yeah, we're just going to hop straight back into some games and hopefully not get disconnected and miss a turn. We have made our way up from rank 7 to rank 6, and another couple of wins, and I'll consider today something of a success. Uh, and then right at the end of this video, I think I'm going to play two more games, and then maybe talk a little bit about uh, potential ideas for adapting some Blackrock Mountain cards into this deck uh, once they get released. At the moment, I've cleared the first three wings because uh, I've been using Emperor Therisian in a Control Warrior deck and what else have I been using it in? In Fast Druid, because it's kind of fun with Let's your combo. Alright, what do I keep here? Against a, against a Paladin. We don't want a Hunter's Mark. We don't want a Plotted Shredder. Maybe one Knife Juggler? Because actually, uh, Paladin is one of the... Of one of the classes that lacks early removal. We're talking like turn two, turn three. So it's one of the classes I'd consider coining out a knife juggler against if I had a turn two. So we're going to keep one. But if I chose to mulligan that one, that would also be fine. Uh, where's my, where are my one drops and two drops, guys? <laughs> no, I just want to keep knife juggler on Lease the Hounds for after the um, after the call to arms and he has the 1-1 one, one dudes on board. Alright, so my choice here is to pass or I can coin out the Haunted Creeper. Absolutely 100% of the time if you've got Haunted Creeper, well basically 100% of the time if you've got Haunted Creeper and Knife Juggler in the hand you play out the Haunted Creeper first and then the Knife Juggler. Oh, it's so tempting. We just because what could he do? He could play Shielded Minibot, and then we hit it. Uh, I don't know. Hey, we're going to coin out the Haunted Creeper. And, you know, I'm quite... happy to accept it could be the wrong decision. Now, the matchup against Paladin, I think, is a really interesting one. Uh, it might be a little bit in um, the Paladin's favour. Okay, right. If, if this goes well for us, then I think we we take a big, uh, big lead in terms of uh, being favoured for this game. Now, if we get one of the knives to take out Knife Juggler, we should be ahead. Because... Him playing this out on turn two makes it look to me like his turn three is going to be muster for battle. And if he does that when I'm unleashing the hounds, we could be in for some fun time. So 66% chance, and we get the hit to the knife juggler. Now, yeah, I'm just saying please play muster for battle. Oh, he plays out a peacekeeper. Well, there we go. Okay, neither of these are beasts. So, nothing for the Hellmaster yet. Okay, we don't need to play this card yet. Let's just go Mad Scientist. Seems a fairly easy play. Hopefully get a hit here. Uh, that's annoying. I guess we can't have everything. Because, okay, the turn four that we're worried about here is a Consecration. But, do we really want to hit, hit, hit? Uh, I there's no good decision to be made here. There are only a choice between bad ones. Um, consecration... Quickly. What to do? Hey, we're going face. And we just say no consecration. If he has it, he should play it pretty much instantly. I can't imagine what else he'd play. 
And he plays Blotted Shredder. We made the right decision, guys. And he's gonna he should take this out, I think. And now I can uh, take out the uh, Aldor Peacekeeper with my Mad Scientist and hopefully freezing trap his um, Blotted Shredder. Do I really want to play this yet? No. Ooh, I could play... I could play a Cult Master. I wonder. But that feels early. Mm, let's just go... Let's put that into there. We get the Freezing Trap. So we're obviously not playing this now. We're not playing this now. Yeah, we're just doing this. And we're hoping that he assumes that this is an explosive trap. But a tip, guys. If, if your opponent's running web spinner, then the chances are that this isn't an explosive trap if you're playing against Hunter. Uh, it's, it's a big signal that this is a, uh, a mid-range warrior deck. Because otherwise you're expecting to see something like a, a Leper Gnome or a Wolf and Infiltrator as the one drop rather than uh, a Web Spinner. Okay, now we sing Call to Arms. That's what I'm worried about here. But if he plays that, at least I've got... Yeah, Muster for Battle, Call to Arms, same thing. And he gets three Juggles. And I really need to take these out quite quickly. Oh, please hit me. Please hit me with the Blooded Shredder. Passing is absolutely his right decision here. And he passes. It's a very good decision. Ooh, but we get to play Knife Juggle. Uh, that is a top deck. Let's have a quick think. Is there another sensible play? No way. We are absolutely doing this. Oh, it, it's... As Day9 would say, it's not top decking if you only run good cards in your deck. But... That was the one card that uh, I absolutely wanted to see. And I think we just board clear. I mean, there's no reason at all not to take this out. And, oh, yeah, we should have taken that out first. That was idiotic of me. Okay, that's just rushing through. Forgot, yeah. But, as it happens, we're running so well that uh, the knife hits us to the face. No, I was going from the general piece of advice, which is that you always want to um, take out the Plotted Shredder first, just to see something random could drop from it. Because it could be something like a Doomsayer, is uh, is the classic 2-drop, where you've suddenly done everything, and then you ping the... Um, you ping the thingamy... Uh, the Plotted Shredder, and it's a Doomsayer, and then you're like, damn, all of my stuff dies. And you look really silly. Well, I don't think I've got anything more exciting to do here than Silverback Patriarch and then Kill Command. So, ideally we're looking for a knife to the face. And we get a knife to the face. Take this guy out. Might as well take out the taunt. And we have another freezing trap as well. Okay, that's useful. Yeah, we still haven't lost the freezing trap from earlier. Because uh, we got our... our ooh, okay. Interesting. Uh, it's Dr. Balance making another fair comeback. Now I have to be careful, because if I play a card, then I might take out a boom bot with my knife juggler, and then it could take out one of these two cards. Uh, I can buff this up to a 3-6, but that's just going to be taken out by that. Uh, I don't run a big game hunter in this deck. No, I don't. Uh, I think this is almost certainly going to hit to his face. And... Okay, I can do 2 damage and then Lotheb. Oh, maybe I should have done taken that to there and that to there. Okay. Well, let's see. Oh, 
Alright, we're going to try and maximise the juggles here. Oh no, why did that have to go to there? Maybe I'm just messing up. Maybe I'm just messing up. Maybe the right decision was to have played this one first, but I was worried about that getting taken out. But I think the two additional knife juggles outweigh the chance of that being taken out with something for four damage. So, yeah, definitely starting to make some mistakes with this deck. And like I say, this is quite a challenging deck to play, and you certainly get better uh, the more you practice it. And yeah, okay, we end up freezing trap that, which is a long way away from ideal. But, you know, maybe we're going to be okay. Maybe we can just carry on doing damage. I actually didn't really um, appreciate quite how difficult it was to um, commentate and stream whilst playing. Uh, it's a lot easier when you're sort of saying this all to yourself. Okay, there's no point in me buffing that up. I want to take this out and buff up one of the guys left over. So we're going to go here. Now we buff one of these up. And we play this. And then on the next turn I want to play Lothab. Hang on, the guy hasn't played Consecration yet. Am I in danger of running into a... Um, equality Consecrate? Hmm... Mm -hmm. How many cards has he got left? 16. I mean, Paladins are only running one copy of uh, Equality these days anyway. I don't see anyone running two copies of, equal uh, of Equality. But obviously I'm in quite a bit of trouble if he does go Equality Consecrate. But I'm, I feel like I'm one turn away from going reasonable favourite. Because we've got Lotheb, we've got Cult Master for our card draw. And okay, he goes Lotheb. I'm fine with that. He goes True Silver Champion. I mean, not a bad turn by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely Lothebbing in return. And there's no point in me going... Ooh, do I want to... Okay, I'm definitely playing this card. So he's got no board clear, so this isn't the turn that I need to worry about stuff dying. I'm just going to go for the face, because in the long run, I think Paladin must be favourite. He's got Tyrion, he's got uh, Sylvanas in this deck. Uh, he might even be running some other late game card like Ysir or Ragnaros, or who knows. We're going to go for face. Since we've played... Um, since we've played Lotheb, I think there's a limited amount of serious damage you can do. And we've got him down to 11 health after he's used Lay on Hands. I have no time. Okay, so Sylvanas comes out. My shield for Argus. And that comes out. And we're almost certainly going to play the Cult Master here. But we're starting to get to a stage where we have a chance to just kill him. Ah, uh, it'd be so nice to actually freezing trap something good here. But, well, we have to start off with this. And let's see what we get. That's not really the card that's going to help me do the damage, guys. But maybe I can get him to steal it. I mean, that could be cool. Ooh, or he could steal the Ancient Watcher. That would be funny. Alright. Actually, if he takes this out, am I in some trouble? He does steal the light well, and that's going to do three... Uh, three worth of health. I don't think I've got anything that's going to buff that, because I don't have a Silence. I don't have a Defender of Argus. But okay. So I'd like this to be Huffer, and I can Freezing Trap. No, I don't want to Freezing Trap the Defender of Argus. That would be ridiculous. And he's down to five health. 
He's down to eight health because of the light well. But, uh... Wow, that's an interesting card for me to get as a two drop and then have stolen by Sylvanas. This is an interesting late game. I have my Savano, I've got my Stranglehorn. Uh, what else have I still got left in the deck? I've got at least one Eaglethorn. I'm not running one of those apps that keeps a, a track of all of the cards that you've played already, but... you think being a chess player I might be able to just memorise it all, but... Yeah, not certainly not whilst streaming at the same time. Okay, but he is starting to run low. Okay, equality. And uh, muster for battle, okay. He takes this one out first. Two arms, men! Okay, right. We are now in a situation where we have to kill people quickly. And I also have to take that out. Uh, well, he's apologising. Well I don't know what he's apologising for. Way. And, uh, okay, that was a win against a, a, a decent control paladin. Um, and I freely will admit that uh, I made a couple of mistakes in that game. Um, you know, not... It's always tricky working out what to do with the knife juggler and uh, Dr. Boom on the board, but yeah. Well, that brings us to a record of three wins, one loss so far. Uh, and the loss was when I missed out a turn and in a reasonably even situation. Missed out a turn seven. So yeah, that's about as big a swing as you could get. So we're going to play one more game. Uh, and yeah. Please do... I'd, this is the first time, like I say, that I've streamed anything uh, other than chess. Uh, so please give me some feedback if you can. Um, you can tweet to me at T E Randall. Uh, and yeah, also let me know what decks you'd like me to play in the future. Um, I play a Control Warrior deck. Um, I, I've got Control Paladin, uh, a Fast Druid, but none of those I find particularly exciting. Do I keep this card? Um, 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 what else do I play? I play the mid-range zoo deck that has a Doctor Boom in it and Bane of Doom. That's really fun. Um, yeah, we're going to keep it. Uh, I'm not going to play Face Hunter on stream. There's no, just no chance whatsoever. Uh, this doesn't look like the greatest draw. I think this could. This is probably a draw that's uh, just favouring the druid here. I kind of expect to lose this one. But hey, we will do what we can. We're going to play the knife juggler because we don't have another good play. Um, he's probably going to get rid of it with wrath, but you know what? It is what it is. We've got two eagle horn bows in our hands, so I don't see any reason not to play that on turn three and just hit him to the face. And you never know, we might get an animal companion would be a nice card to get. Uh, looking for a mad scientist. Alright, I'll talk a little bit about the mulliganing. Um, in general, you're looking for haunted creeper as your one drop. Uh, it's fantastic to have... Um, your mad scientist. Uh, Eaglehorn bow is worth keeping. Um, ooh, do I want to play web spinner hero power? I mean, he might be swiping me on turn four, but I don't really care about that. What's my turn four looking like at the moment? I could go three and then okay. attack. Or I can go one, uh, hit, and then use this on the next go. I think I like this play a little bit better. It guarantees me getting a little use out of this, and Hunter always has a slight problem with card draw, and means I've just got one extra card in hand to keep on doing damage with. I kind of like a Hunter's Mark. That's a particularly good card against Druid, because obviously with Innovate, they've got the capability of um, sticking some really high-value cards much earlier on in the game. 
and if it happens to be a taunt druid, sometimes if you don't have Hunter's Mark and they play Ancient of War, for example, which is a 510 taunt, you just you can straight up lose. Okay, he plays that. My play is really obvious here. I'm just gonna uh, go this. Well, we might as well go this first, just to see what beast we get. Ooh, King Crush. Well, we played it once already today, but just as we were leaving. See? Oh, now I'm just fantasizing about the end of this stream being me playing King Crush, killing my opponent, and that being it. That's the, that's it, the last game. Wow. I'm I'm excited, guys. I don't think I've ever played King Crush as a, as a win condition before. In fact... I'm ashamed to say that I dusted King's Crush when I got it from a, from a pack. I try not to spend too much money on Hearthstone, although I will pay for the adventures just because I haven't got time to um, to ladder up long, long enough. Okay, what to do now? Well, we've got a turn... We've got a turn 6 and a turn 7. We've definitely got a turn 9. Kind of tempted to hit Eagle Horn Bow and then that. I'm starting to take a lot of damage, which is obviously important, because it looks to me like we're up against a combo druid. So he could have innovate um, with the uh, Force of Nature Savage Raw combo for 14 damage. So, but what's my other play? Just to bring this guy out. Oh, I don't like I it. Alright, we're gonna go for it. If he plays Harrison Jones, then then we look pretty bad. But our next player is gonna be Savannah Home Main. I see you. Okay, we're absolutely fine with that. Although we now, it's worth pointing out we lose to um, force of Nature, Savage Raw. Uh, if he innovates out on this turn. He's not used a single innovate so far. Uh, and he would be doing 21 points of damage, I believe. With uh, innovate, Force of Nature, Savage Raw. But he's not done it instantly. So, fingers crossed. Oh, I don't want to end the game on the losing side without having played King Crush, but hmm. I have to say that the combo druid matchup is potentially one of the trickier ones for a mid-range mid hunter. But okay. He does do that. We have no taunt in this deck. Uh, I can't possibly see a play that isn't Dr. Boom here. But I think, in all honesty, we're going to lose this game. Ooh, actually, do we want to play Freezing Trap? Yeah, I think we want to play Freezing Trap here. We don't have to automatically play out Dr. Boone. Uh, this is the one we want to get rid of rather than this. I think. So we're going to controversially not play Dr. Boone and play the Freezing Trap. And then we have an Animal Companion or the... Stealth. And I think we have to go for the stealth here. Yeah, that makes sense. And then maybe Animal com Companion on the next turn. I mean, we're still dying to... Um, to the combo, but such as playing against a druid. With 10 health, we die to a lot of things. We die to... Uh, well... If that was an explosive trap, we'd die to that uh, swipe and hero power. By the power of okay. I have the and then he innovates. Is he swiping here? Okay, he's going with that. I mean, I need a win condition. Okay, well, we're definitely playing this card. We need, we absolutely 1 million percent need Taunt on this board. 
but how are we going to do it? I wonder. Well, we have taunt on this board. And we want one more bit of taunt. Um, I think I we take this know. up. Okay, we've got two bits of taunt on. We have 12 damage plus King Crush in the hand. Please let me go 12 damage into King's Crush. I mean, we die to so many things here. Double swipe. He hasn't used a swipe yet. But he hasn't played a card yet. I mean, hmm. don't. If you've ever got a winning situation, don't. Please don't just slow roll. But he's thinking. Uh, he's thinking. The downside is that he could take out a couple of our minions with, say, Force of Nature, Savage Roar, and then we wouldn't be in lethal range again. Uh, but at the moment, we're threatening to do 15, 23 damage. Is that right? 12, 15, 23. And we've got Dr. Boom, which I hear is also a perfectly balanced card. What to do? I mean, I don't know if I've ever been so... Actually, the last time I was this nervous playing a game of Hearthstone, I was rank 1 and attempting to get Legend. Okay, he plays a, a Force of Nature for 5 mana. And a uh, thing, and a Druid of the Claw. And a Wrath. Okay, he's board clear. I'm down to two health. That's not a good sign. Okay, I can do seven. I can do 15 damage. He's got 19 health. That's not what we wanted. Oh, there must be a way around this. I mean, I bet... I'm, I will almost guarantee right now on stream... One of these three cards is a swipe, and that I'm dead. But I think my play has to be... It has to be, take this out, play Dr. Boom, do the two damage. I mean, as tempting as it is to just play King's Crush, we're not going to do it. We're going to die anyway, but we do this. We play Dr. Boom, we go hero, hero power, and we hit him, 14. We've got no secrets in hand, we have to hit him. We'll say well played, and I'm expecting to be swiped. Or, you know, a second force of nature. He doesn't need any kind of combo with it, of course, but force of nature or swipe. Or Druid of the Claw. Uh, no, he's, he's played both Druid of the Claws, so he can't have that. But he's got two swipes in this deck. Probably another Force of Nature. Uh, and he's not played any of them yet. I mean, they could all be in his 15 cards. He's got Hero Power for one damage. I mean, he doesn't realise I'm sitting here with a King's Crush. I mean, just look at that, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to be flat out furious now if he's got swipe. He's drawing a couple of cards. I mean, could, could this be the moment, guys? He does this. And then he innovates and does what? I think, I think we've done it. Time waits for no one. I believe that is King Crush. Well, we have to hit this way. And here's the moment we've been waiting for ever since it popped from the web spinner. No play. And we 
hit him to the face. How do you like that? I mean, we were incredibly lucky there. But that makes up for missing a turn against the Shaman. So, okay, we end today on 4-1, uh, and one, I believe, with one disconnection. Uh, and yeah. Alright, just before I end uh, this broadcast, I'm going to very quickly go back to, to my collection. And talk ever so quickly about potential Black Rock Mountain cards that, uh, that could be added in. The card in particular that I'm looking forward to playing is called Volcanic Drake, and it is a 6 mana card, uh, and with 6-4 stats, so for the moment it sounds pretty terrible, but it costs uh, 1 mana less for each minion that's died this turn, and that could be one of yours or one of theirs. And when we've got things like Snake Trap and um, Unleash the Hounds, plus just general stuff on the board from Haunted Creepers and all kinds of stuff, that feels like uh, we could be playing it for 4 mana, for 3 mana, or e even less potentially. Uh, so that's really exciting, especially against other kind of ag aggressive um, board flood kind of decks. Uh, the other card that's interesting uh, is the Hungry Dragon, uh, which is a 5-6 minion for 4 mana, and that summons 1-1 one, one drop uh, or 1 cost minion for the opponent, uh, which doesn't seem all that worrying to me, especially since we could even use that uh, as an extra card for Unleash the Hounds. And I don't know what we might take out. Potentially... Stranglethorn Tiger might be replaceable. Maybe a Lotherb. Uh, Plotted Shredder is a fantastic card, but maybe that can be taken out as well. So yeah, at some stage, once uh, those cards are out, I'm going to definitely experiment a little bit um, with uh, a mid-range Hunter. And yeah, who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe one day I'll stream that as well. In the meantime, uh, please let me know what you thought of... Uh, of the deck and of today's broadcast and if there's anything at all that you'd like me to stream let's just take a very quick look at what decks i have i've got a control paladin deck fast druid face hunter which i really won't play an anti-aggro taunt druid but that's a bit boring mid-range warrior and total control warrior and then there's the zoo deck which i really kind of enjoy i don't have a priest deck at the moment that was just something i created to try and uh, complete a heroic run in uh, Black Rock Mountain. Anyway, that is it from me today. Um, yeah, don't forget to, you know, subscribe to Jurassic's channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at T Randall. And, yeah, I'll let you know if I, if I do some more streaming of Hearthstone in the future. I'm really glad that uh, we managed to get at least some success with the deck today. And, uh, yeah, it's pushed me a little bit closer to Legend, which is definitely my aim at some point. Anyway, thanks you, thanks uh, everyone for watching, and see you again soon.